everyone, this is Kamel. Welcome back to the official channel of Video Pro Flagger. New series of Video Pro Guide Tutorial is available in the channel, and you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to create stunning videos from scratch in Video Pro Flagger. To get started, make sure you click the link in the description box below to download the software for free. It's necessary to preview your project during the edit. In Video Pro Flagger, this is your preview window. You can preview the clips and timeline here, or you can hit the detach button on the bottom right to open an individual preview window. This can help you preview the project on any place of the current or another monitor. There we have a full screen button, it's for the full screen preview. When making edits, you may want to preview a clip or the timeline. Clips are the media assets you drag to the media library. Double-click the thumbnail to preview the clips. Alternatively, you can right-click the thumbnail and hit play to view the clip. Surely, if you already drag the source clips onto the timeline, then you can right-click the target clip on the timeline and choose play clip to preview it. To play the timeline, go to the timeline panel. Here you can find two vertical lines. The red vertical line is the play height. The vertical line in gray represents the skimmer. They can help you faster reach the exact point in the timeline. For example, you can drag the play height to a certain position, press the play button or press the space bar to preview the timeline from the current position. Surely, you can move the mouse cursor to reposition the skimmer flexibly. Right-click your mouse here and hit Play Timeline. Whether you're previewing the clips or the timeline, you can click on the volume button above the preview window and drag the slider up or down to amplify or decrease the volume. Also, you can press the Stop button here to pause the preview. When previewing the timeline, we can drag the slider here to adjust its view. Drag the slider left to zoom out the timeline to check the thumbnails of all clips. Drag it right to enlarge the timeline for precisely previewing the specific frames. Next, move the play head to the desired position. Hit next frame or the right arrow key on the keyboard. Hit previous frame or the left arrow key. This can help you fast locate a specific frame to preview. Suppose you need to turn the frame into a picture. Find the camera button on the top right corner of the preview window. Click on it. This can save the specific frame as a picture. In addition, there are several small buttons above the preview window, therefore improving the editing efficiency. Firstly, it is the rulers. We can enable rulers by pressing the Show Rulers button. The head and the white pixels information now displays on the edges of the canvas. There are three small dots in different colors. They are for helping you distinguish the different guides. Here we have three flexible ways to add the guides. For example, I want to add the crisscross guide in Cyan. Here I hit a dot icon in Cyan, and then I hit the add a crisscross guide icon. Move the cursor to the position where you need to add the guide. Click your mouse button, that's it. Next, let's add a horizontal guide in blue. and a vertical guide in purple. After that, let's move the cursor over the three guides. We can find they are all movable. We want to lock all guides. Simply click on the lock button here. If you need to hide all guides, click on the hide button here. Suppose you don't need a guide and want to remove it off. Drag the guide with your mouse and move it outside of the canva. If you need to delete your guides, here you have a one-click solution. Video Pro Flagger offers a clear button. Click on this. You can remove all guides on the preview window. Super convenient, isn't it? During the edit, there is another important tool, the marker. In Video Pro Flagger, we can add two sort of markers. One sort is for marking a single clip. Select the clip that you want to add with the marker. Right-click your mouse and choose Add Marker in Clip. 
The marker now appears on the clip. You can add multiple markers to a single clip. You can also add multiple markers to multiple clips. After adding the markers, right-click on the marker. You can find four options. They are move to timeline, split from marker, delete this marker, or delete all markers in clip. The other sort of marker is for marking the timeline. Now you can flexibly apply the play head. When moving the play head to the desired position, you can hit the add marker in timeline icon underneath the preview window. A marker now appears on the corresponding position of the timeline. Surely, you can right-click the mouse and choose Add Marker in Timeline. You can also right-click the timeline marker to access four options. They are Play From Marker, Snap Play Head to Marker, Delete This Marker, and Delete All Markers in Timeline. Last, there is a very useful button underneath the preview window. It's rectangle layout. It can help you faster resize and reposition the video. For example, select the target clip on the timeline. Then hit the rectangle layout icon. The clip on the preview window will be surrounded by the dashed box with a blue handles. You can drag the blue handles to resize the video. You can also click on the mouse and drag the video to reposition it. After that, click on the area outside of the box to finish the adjustments. Absolutely great to create amazing split screen videos with VideoProc Flagger. Alright, now you've reached today's video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy!